What's going on guys, this is Kublai, I'm a Western European currently based in Asia and today I'm coming at you from Palawan in the Philippines and in this video I'm gonna compare two very popular destinations among both travelers and expatriates, Thailand and the Philippines. So I've got a list of seven uh, points here to, uh, in order to find out which country could be better for you to move to, to live in, to travel to and to basically find out which are the pros and cons of each country, Thailand and the Philippines. So first of all, uh, I spent quite some time in both countries. I've lived just over two years or so in Thailand and uh, I spent roughly four or five months in my entire life here in the Philippines. I went for the first time uh, to Thailand back in 2010 and I traveled for the first time by, uh, to the Philippines back in 2011. Since then I've either lived or traveled to both countries so I think I've got quite enough experience to be able to compare the two countries and uh, tell you at least which are my pros and cons of each country uh, here in Southeast Asia. So let's get started with the first uh, point, landscapes and nature. So first you have to know uh, when it comes to climate, uh, it's almost the same, both, both countries are almost, uh, yeah, they are, they, are, they are almost the same. Uh, they have got hot weather, hot weather even uh, heat weather here. Uh, it, can get, it can get very hot here. In, uh, in the Philippines or even in Thailand. So if you like hot weather, if you don't want to cope with the winters, snow, ice, you will love it here. <laughs> you will love it here. Uh, it's always either warm or either very hot here in Thailand or in the Philippines. Um, but when it comes to landscapes and nature, I found, to be, I found um, the Philippines to be better than Thailand. Let me explain you why. Because if you are looking for uh, a tropical paradise, you know, that clear blue water, uh, paradise beach, white sand, um, surrounded by green hills. You will have much more choice here in the Philippines than in Thailand. Thailand is still very nice, don't get me wrong, especially when you go to the south, Phuket, Koh Phi Phi, Koh Lanta, Krabi, Koh Samui, Koh Tao. Uh, you will find nice beaches and so on there as well. But it gets pretty crowded quickly there in Thailand. In my opinion, Thailand is getting too crowded now. Um, and in the Philippines, you will still be able to find crowded places as well if you want to find it. For example, here, El Nido, which is not too far from where I'm now, is pretty crowded now compared to 12 years ago. But if you want to find uh, landscapes far from everything, uh, without the crowds, very peaceful, you will still be able to find it here in the Philippines quite easily. Uh, you've got much more choice here in the Philippines as well. And I found the, the colors of the nature, the water, the beaches to be much more interesting here in the Philippines than in Thailand. So in Thailand you will still find nice beaches and uh, tropical uh, landscapes. And you will find this even, you know, mountain-like landscapes in the north, they are close to, close to Chiang Mai, which you, will which you will be able to find here in the Philippines as well. But in my opinion, the Philippines, when it comes to nature and landscapes, beaches and the sea, it beats Thailand. Uh, second point, uh, the infrastructure. Uh, and the infrastructure is better in Thailand, I think. Um, especially in Bangkok. Um, I've been to Bangkok recently and uh, yeah, basically Bangkok is, uh, has first world infrastructure now. Sometimes even better than first world infrastructure, even better than Western Europe, for example, or USA, where I've been as well. And uh, yeah, if you need a good hospital, if you uh, want good um, public transportation, public transport, for example, the PTS, the MRT, taxis, there are plenty of taxis there in, uh, in Bangkok. Uh, trains, everything. You've got everything you want to in Thailand when it comes to infrastructure. It's modern, uh, it's well maintained, so yeah. It's better in Thailand. Here in Philippines you will still be able to find it, especially in Manila, uh, in some districts. But here for example in Palawan, it's now it's like Thailand 20 years ago. Uh, it's not too bad. Um, now you've got malls here, hospitals and so on, but the roads aren't that well maintained as in Thailand yet. 
Public transportation is worse, uh, cars are worse. Yeah, when it comes to infrastructure and uh, yeah, roads and um, sidewalks and so on, Thailand is still better now in 2023. Um, third point, the food. So guys, the food, when it comes to food, in my opinion, and it's not only my opinion because I'm talking I'm often talking with some, some other foreigners here, Westerners here in, uh, in, uh, in the Philippines. Thailand beats the Philippines hands on when it comes to food. In Thailand, you will be able to find Thai food, which is delicious, by the way. Japanese food, Korean food, Chinese food, you name it, Italian food, French food. You've got everything there and it is better. Quality is just better, you know. Here, it's, in my opinion, Philippine, Philippine food is Kind of strange, very, very fat, sweet, always the same taste, um, and you still will be able to find yeah, multicultural, um, uh, multicultural food here. For example, Italian food or you name it, what American food, everything. But the taste is is different. It's I don't know. Uh, Filipinos know how to sing well. They are amazing singers. But when it comes to cooking. No, Thais are much more talented, I think. So yeah, when it comes to food, I think I think uh, I think food in the in the Philippines is by far the biggest con of living in the Philippines. I'm always uh, looking for a new place to uh, to eat because I knew a few places here around where you can eat good food, but there are just a few, and uh, it's always it, you know you get boring uh, of it at the end of the day. So I'm always looking for. Um, a place where food is not so bad, where I can go eat and enjoy a good meal, you know, which is not easy to find here in the Philippines. So yeah, food is better in Thailand, no matter what kind of food it would be. Thai food, uh, Japanese food, Korean food, uh, Western food is always better in Thailand, for sure. Uh, by the way, leave me a comment below and tell me what you think about the food in both Philippines and Thailand, or what you think about what I'm saying now about the Philippines and Thailand. If you've got experience in each country or, or at least in one of each country, tell me in the comments below what you think uh, would be interesting. Uh, next point, language and culture. So uh, let's put it this way. It's much e it will be much easier to communicate in, uh, in the Philippines because English is an official language of the Philippines with, with the, of the Philippines which makes uh, things a lot easier. So basically, if you speak English, you don't really need to, to learn the other, the other um, official language, which is Filipino, Tagalog. You will be able to communicate with almost everybody here in English, you know? I don't, for example, I'm, I'm using only English on a daily basis here in the Philippines, and I don't feel any need to learn Tagalog, you know? So of course, if you... Uh, if you're planning to stay here in the, in the Philippines for a long time, it's always good and polite to learn some Tagalog, you know, Filipino, but you don't really need it. Uh, whereas in, um, in Thailand, uh, some people still understand uh, or make themselves understood in, uh, in English, especially in Bangkok. But at the end of the day, you still, you still will need to, uh, to learn Thai if you want to be able to communicate with everybody and to be, yes, just, just be able to be, yeah, comfortable living in Thailand, so uh, yeah, that's the main difference. Uh, in, 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 Tha in, uh, in the Philippines, you just, you just rely on English, it's enough. Uh, which makes everything, of course, easier, especially if you, uh, if you want to assimilate or if you want to integra integrate, would be better in Asia, because in Asia you never assimilate, you integrate. If you want to integrate quickly, it will be easier in the Philippines. Most people in the Philippines are, um, Christian, which makes things even easier because they are used to the Western culture. Um, it used to the, Fili the Philippines were a um, a, uh, a Spanish um, colony for for quite some time. So yeah, it makes just things easier to understand each other and uh, to communicate. So yeah, it's easier in the Philippines. It doesn't make um, Thailand a bad country. Um, Thailand has a very strong culture, a very interesting culture. Um, some foreigners here in, um, 
in the Philippines tends to say the Philippines don't have any culture, which I don't agree with. They still have their culture, but it is much more multicultural here. In Thailand, the Thai culture is very strong. Uh, you've got plenty of temples, they are Buddhists, and they are very proud of their culture and their language. So it's, it will be a little bit longer to integrate in, um, in Thai society, but it's more interesting, you know? Strong Thai culture, their own language, uh, plenty of temples which are beautiful in Thailand, beautiful temples. Uh, and they are everywhere in the country in Thailand. And uh, yeah, it's, I would, let's put it this way. It's easier to integrate in uh, the Philippines, but it is, the culture is more interesting, let's say it, uh, let's say, let's put it this way, in, uh, in, uh, in Thailand. So both are good, but depending on what you're looking for. Um, next point, safety. So when it comes to safety, um, the Philippines and Thailand are quite different. They are both, on average, safe countries. But danger here, uh, there is some kind of danger here in the Philippines and in Thailand as well. But danger is different. For example, I found, uh, I found uh, the Thai roads to be quite dangerous. I got into a few accidents in Thailand. You're always at fault if you are a foreigner, by the way. Keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, Thais drive like crazy. In the Philippines, uh, the roads are safer. I found people to be more civilized here on the road, uh, to, res to respect each other more than the, in Thailand. So I would rather drive in the Philippines than in Thailand. Um, when it comes to scams, um, I think it will be easier to get scammed in uh, Thailand because in Thailand there are many uh, tourists, many uh, yeah, uh, places where tourists are, tend to gather and um, there are a lot of scammers there. So when it comes to jet skis, cars, renting motorbikes, renting jet skis, renting cars, motorbikes, um, all kind of expensive, st expensive um, cars or stuff you can rent, ATVs. You have to be very careful in Thailand. Always double check, make pictures of your, of what you are renting because um, there are some, a few scammers there in Thailand, and it's easy to, uh, yeah, to get to get into it. Easier to get into in, into a trap in Thailand. I found Filipinos to be more, you know, honest. Not saying that Thais aren't honest, but. I found Filipinos to be even more honest here. Um, yeah, it's easier to get scammed in Thailand, definitely. Um, and when it comes to kidnapping, you have maybe heard, maybe you have heard about kidnapping in the in the Philippines. There are some places in the Philippines you shouldn't go to, especially in the south. Uh, you can find it, you can find all the information easily in uh, on internet. Uh, but there are a few places in the south uh, where kidnappings did occur in the in the past and where you shouldn't simply go to but if you don't go there which is about five percent of the entire country it's okay it's perfectly safe here you know 95 95 percent of the uh, percent of the, the uh, of the Philippines are safe I'm now in Palawan in Puerto Princesa and I feel absolutely safe here you know um, some people say Manila isn't safe I've been there a few times, I didn't feel in danger at all, but maybe it's just me. Cebu, safe. A lot of poverty in Cebu, but still safe. And uh, in the Visayas, still safe, you know. Just avoid the south and yeah, a, few, a few islands. Just Google it, which places should they avoid in, uh, in the Philippines, and you will be able to find which places should avoid in the Philippines. And most likely you won't be kidnapped or killed or I don't know, uh, uh, screwed okay so that's that's it for safety yeah so when it comes to safety I would say Thailand and Philippines are most the same as dangerous as safe depending uh, what we are talking about road scams or kidnapping cost of living next point cost of living I found uh, the food to be quite expensive in Thailand now, uh, in 2023. Uh, prices have risen a lot in Thailand. Uh, 
Yeah, food is definitely much more expensive now than uh, 10 years ago in Thailand. Uh, accommodation is cheaper than in Philippines. Here, the accommodation in the Philippines is slightly higher. Um, if you want a good condominium with all the uh, all the furniture, enough space, um, a, a swimming pool, a, um, a gym, and so on, it's more expensive here in uh, in the Philippines. It's still good. It's still good value for money compared to Western countries, especially now because now prices are going insane in uh, in Western Europe. I guess the same in the USA or in Canada. Leave me a comment below and what you what you think about it. Um, but in Thailand, yeah, accommodation can be quite cheap, especially if you are looking for a long-term stay. Uh, if you want to stay in your condominium for six months, one year, you can, there are still very good deals uh, to find in Thailand. Not really in the Philippines, but I found uh, the food to be cheaper in the Philippines. Um, so it's, I would say it's almost the same. Food is cheaper here, accommodation is more expensive there, here. Food is more expensive in Thailand, but accommodation is way cheaper in Thailand, especially if you are, if you wanna stay long term and yeah, get a long term uh, rental contract. Um, when it comes to cars in the Philippines, cars are cheaper than in Thailand. And I'm not sure whether you are into cars or not. I'm into cars. And if I decide to stay in Southeast Asia in the future, which I haven't decided yet, I would like to, yeah, to, to own a car. And in the Philippines, cars are just cheaper than in Thailand. In Thailand, some cars are just insane. Price of, of some cars are just insane. Look at the price of a Nissan GTR, for example, in Thailand. It's something like three, 300 or 400K USD, which is insane. For example, in, in Europe, you can find a, a, a Nissan GTR for 50K. <laughs> It's like five or six times uh, six times more expensive in Thailand. Here in the Philippines, I got a quick look at the at the cars online. It's cheaper. It's cheaper in Thailand, definitely. And the roads are safer here in the Philippines. Um, so that's the cost of living. Uh, let's let's put it this way: it's almost the same now. You know, it's but still good value in both countries compared to Western Europe, USA, Canada, where prices are skyrocketing now. Tell me in your comments below what you think about the cost of living in your, in your country. No matter where you're from, USA, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, Western Europe. Tell me in the comments below how prices, the cost of living is now in 2023 and if you want to move to Southeast Asia because of the, because of the cost of living in your country. Um, Value for money here in Southeast Asia is worse than before, but still okay compared to compared to Western Europe. Next point: service. Uh, service is better in, uh, on average, is better in Thailand. Uh, in Thailand, you will be able to find massages, massage shops a lot. If you like massage, if you like to into uh, back massage, foot massage, I like it a lot. Uh, it's much better in Thailand. Here, you will stable here in the Philippines, you will stay able to find massages, but. Uh, massage, massages, I'm not, not sure, um, but it is worse. Uh, Filipinos are a little bit slower than Thais, uh, so yeah, on average, service is better in Thailand. And finally, last point, but not least, visas, very important point. Um, so there are solutions uh, to stay in both countries. Um, Tell me in the comments below what you are doing for a living, but I am an online entrepreneur. I make, um, I make money online, basically. Um, and I've been doing this for um, over six years now. So it doesn't matter where I live, you know, I'm location independent. So if you're location independent, um, in Thailand, you will be able to buy a visa, which is called a uh, elite visa. And you can buy a visa, uh, for, I'm married, I'm married, so uh, I'm always counting for two people, but uh, I would be able to buy a Thai visa for five years for about 23,000 euros, which is roughly 25,000 USD. And uh, that, would, that would be uh, yeah, the best solution to stay in Thailand for, for long term. You can even get a 10 year or 20 year elite visa. You basically pay a fee and you get a visa. It's as simple as that. Um, and I know many um, 
online entrepreneurs or, or, free or freelancers or people making a living online are living in Thailand with a Thai with a uh, elite visa. So that's good, but there's still some money, you know, 23,000 euros is still quite some money. Uh, here in the Philippines, you can stay very easily. Basically, you don't really need a visa, you just get a uh, landing permission on arrival, which you can extend for up to three years. So at the end of the day, of course, if you want to stay in the Philippines long, long term, it's better to get a resident visa. Um, I got a quick look at the... Um, the yeah, the different visa solutions here in the Philippines. It's cheaper than in Thailand. Uh, you've got a retire, uh, retirement visa, which you can get from age 35. That's good news. Investor uh, visa as well. But yeah, on average, it's easier to stay and much straightforward to stay here in the Philippines than in Thailand. In Thailand, if you don't want to spend uh, um, roughly 25 USD for two people, if you're married, if you're alone, for uh, if you're alone, it would be, I think, 18,000 or 20,000 USD to get a five-year elite visa. But still, yeah, if you don't want to pay the money, it's easier to stay here in the Philippines. If you are eager to pay the money and just, yeah, okay, let's pay 20 USD or so, 20,000 USD or so, and get a visa for five years, and uh, that's it. I can stay in Thailand for five years. Uh, just get an uh, elite visa. It's just easier. I used to live in Thailand on a uh, work visa or work visa with a Thai, uh, Thai salary and so on. You can get, you can, you can stay in Thailand with a work visa or a, um, a, uh, a student visa, but at the end of the day, it's still a hassle. You have to renew it quite often every year or so. You have to cope with the 90 day, um, how do you call it? 90 day reports in Thailand. With the elite visa, they almost do it for you, so it's much easier. But anyway, if you want to stay in Thailand or in the Philippines, there are solutions in both countries. It's just easier, cheaper, and more straightforward here in the Philippines than in Thailand. Okay, more stable as well. In Thailand, the, the laws tend to uh, to change a lot and quickly. Here in the Philippines, I found to be the situation more stable. The laws, the laws haven't haven't changed that much in the past year, so it's more predictable, let's put it this way. But anyway, tell me in the comments below what you think about uh, these pros and cons of uh, each country, Thailand and uh, the Philippines. Which country would be better for you? Um, which country you want to move to? And check the links below in the description, you will find a links to my consulting service. If you want to make money online, for example, if you want to, if you want to uh, be able to travel or to uh, to be location independent. I've been doing this for quite some time, six years now on the French market. I'm just getting started on the English speaking market. But on the French market, I'm quite yeah experienced now. Um, and um, yeah, check the links below, smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Share this video and uh, yeah, let's talk in the, in the comments below. Tell me what you think about each country, Thailand, the Philippines and uh, where you want to move to Southeast Asia. Talk to you soon guys, have a good one.